I'll show the stories. I'm going to tell you one because the Steelers are undefeated. Yeah, if you can't tell, yeah, I'm from Houston. But with that being said, there was a point in time where the Tetans were absolutely doing horrendous. So, at our spot, we had a Steelers watch party, all right? And the Steelers watch party used to come like 30, 40 deep every Sunday, all right? I will say the Steelers fans are probably a cult. That being said, I always kept the sound on for the Steelers, all right? But this one week... The Steelers and Tetans overlapped, all right? And the Tetans started doing good. People started showing up on Sundays to watch them. Yeah, I didn't give a fuck. I told my DJ, I told my other manager, I said, hey, you leave the sound on for the Steelers. I don't give a fuck. Of course, Tetans fans were mad, but I'm a very loyal person, all right? And the Steelers were rocking with us when they were 0-4, all right? They've been rocking with us, giving us business. So, I ain't about to do them like that. All right? I ain't about to do them dirty like that. So, this one Tetson fan, he's, like, making a big-ass fuss, all right? He's talking to the other manager. I'm looking at him. I'm like, uh, dude, don't talk to me any type of crazy way because I am that one manager that really will put my hands on you. Sure as shit, he starts talking to me, all right? I tell him, hey, no. I'm not switching the sound. I'm only leaving on the Steelers. I'm sorry. I'm going to play the game, but you're not going to have the sound. I'm going to play it for the Steelers. He was all pissed off. All right. I personally don't give a fuck. I'm used to pissing people off, whether it be one of my girls or whether it be a guest. It's all fine, Danny, until he decided to put his finger in my face. It wasn't the pointer finger. All right. He was like flicking me off in my face. That's when I lost it, all right? I want all the smoke. Everybody is about to get their ass whooped. But luckily for, for him and me, my regular, who I'm used to seeing like almost every Sunday, he's like a six foot three black guy. He's big as shit. With that big motherfucker grabbed me, all right? He like hugged me and was like, no, Drew, no, 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 no. Don't do this. Don't, no. Don't get fired because of this stupid shit. It's all right. It's all right. <sighs> Take in mind, I'm still talking shit. He's still talking shit, all right? I'm like, bitch, I'm the only one being held back. You can bust a move if you want. They won't let me go after that. So they wind up just leaving. They were just like, fuck this place, fuck this place. I ain't give a fuck, all right? I say, get the fuck out or y'all can catch these hands. I personally didn't give a fuck. Yeah, I got in trouble for that. I did have to talk to my regional manager about that shit. So, no matter how much I'm from Houston, no matter how much I support my team to even when we're losing, yeah, I'm I'm loyal, all right? And to that, I hope the Steelers keep doing good. With all that being said, yeah, get fucked, stay fucked.